So today we'll be discussing the stability of uh, passenger ships in a damaged condition. So I'll uh, show you some uh, salient points of the stability criteria and I've underlined the important bits and pieces so that uh, it's not too much text for you to comprehend. All right, so let's get started. Um, the For the stability of uh, passenger ships in damaged condition, uh, the first point here is that there should be sufficient intact stability to withstand the final stage of flooding of any one compartment. Uh, I'll, I'll elaborate on e each of these points below. So if you think something is not very clear right now, I'll elaborate on these points. Uh, I'm just starting out and then I'll also have drawn a, a, a stability diagram, um, a GZ curve, uh, which will explain things further. Uh, so let's uh, keep going uh, the second point here is uh, where the required factor of subdivision is between 0.33 and 0 0.50 uh, the the intact stability should be sufficient to withstand flooding of any two adjacent main compartments and uh, if the factor of subdivision is less than or equal to 0.33 uh, the intact stability should be sufficient to withstand flooding of any three adjacent main compartments. Uh, the stability required in final condition after damage and after equalization shall be determined as follows. Uh, the positive residual writing lever curve should have a minimum range of 15 degrees beyond the angle of equilibrium then the area under the curve should be at least 0 0.05 uh, meter radians measured from the angle of equilibrium to the lesser of uh, either the angle at which the progressive flooding occurs or uh, 22 degrees for one compartment flooding and 27 degrees for two or more adjacent compartments flooding i'll show you below in the gz curve uh, that i have drawn here how it all is measured and then the third condition here is a residual writing lever or a GZ uh, GZ is a residual writing lever uh, to be obtained uh, taking into account the greatest of the following healing moments uh, firstly uh, the crowding of all passengers towards one side where we consider four passengers per meter square and each passenger uh, and on average is about 75 kilograms per person uh, if uh, the launching of all fully loaded survival crafts are taking place from one side and due to wind pressure if uh, wind pressure is taken as 120 newton per meter square as calculated from the gz then should be at least healing moment divided by the vessel's displacement uh, plus 0.4 so in no case or in neither of the cases the writing lever should be less than 0 0.01 meters all right so uh, as you know and if you didn't understand what this all means so as you know that if all the passengers crowd on one side of the passenger vessel it's like uh, it's like uh, putting all the cargo on one side so if there is any kind of healing due to that and uh, for, for then we need a sufficient GZ or sufficient writing lever to upright the vessel. So that is what is meaning by equalization or uprighting the vessel. So in this case, if all the passengers go to one side, we assume that there are four passengers per meter square length of the vessel and each person is considered 75 kilograms. Or if you are launching all fully loaded survival crafts all from one side, if you start loading, uh, launching life rafts or life boats or life rafts all from one side, again, a heel is expected or if the wind is acting on one side and due to wind again the vessel heals then again uh, we require some writing moment and that writing moment cannot be less than 0 0.10 in any condition and that writing moment is calculated by dividing the healing moment by the vessel's displacement plus 0.4 all right so that is the whole idea behind it so here we are talking about the uh, stability criteria and this is one of the most essential stability criteria here uh, in intermediate stages of flooding, the maximum writing lever shall be at least 0 0.05 meters and the range of writing levers, that is positive writing levers, 
shall be at least within 7 degrees right that should be the range between the lowest and the highest values of the writing lever that range should be about 7 degrees then uh, for the purpose of making damage stability calculations the volume and surface permeabilities shall be as follows so if you don't know what permeability is uh, watch my videos on permeability in ship stability it basically refers to the uh, bilging if there is any compartment that gets filled or bilged uh, what is the amount of buoyancy then being provided all right so of course a fully filled compartment will have a zero permeability because it's fully filled and there is no buoyancy to be provided so we have these spaces given here and the permeability factor given here and for cargo coal or stores it's considered 60 for places occupied by accommodation it is 95 and so on and so forth all right and here whichever results in the more severe requirements that is uh, considered uh, for the purpose of making damage stability calculation so depending on which kind of uh, which space has been flooding and where the water is coming in uh, calculations are carried out assuming the worst conditions then you can see below here i have drawn the gz curve diagram and this is not again a uh, very beautiful one my diagrams are terrible i know that so my apologies for that but here i'm just trying to show you uh, what i've been talking about in theory above so you can see the gz has been plotted uh, against the heel uh, so one is on the x-axis the other is on the y-axis and the various angles of heel are plotted from 0 5 10 all the way to 45 and more so you can see this is just an assumed condition and uh, you can see that the maximum angle of field uh, should be at 7 degrees or 12 degrees as applicable and then the area up to 22 degrees of angle of heel uh, say example this is 22 degrees angle of field for one compartment or angle of flooding whichever is less to be greater than or equal to 0 0.015 meter radians and uh, all these uh, various aspects are provided then you can see here the healing moment is provided here the healing moment which i said can be calculated by dividing the this is the writing lever, maximum writing lever calculated so the writing lever calculated is by the healing moment divided by displacement plus 0 0.04 but the value should be a greater than 0 0.01 meters so these are all uh, what i explained in theory above um, so spend some time and understanding this gz curve uh, because this is pretty much based on what I explained in theory so for those of you who don't really understand uh, the written language or you don't really comprehend it you can see this uh, GZ curve and understand some of it and then of course there are certain assumptions uh, used to calculate the healing moments due to crowding of passengers and we've talked about that as well but here are some couple of extra points so four persons per meter square of length of the vessel as I told you before and mass of each uh, passenger is considered to be on an average 75 kilograms so fully adult passengers our passengers are to be distributed on available deck areas where muster stations are located on one side of the ship in such a manner as to produce the most adverse healing moment so remember damaged uh, stability and all these uh, calculations are considered for the worst conditions uh, not for the best conditions so worst conditions are assumed and the calculations are uh, conducted based on that because uh, uh, because uh, we, we uh, because uh, um, that takes into account the worst condition and prepares the mariners for handling the uh, worst condition so that's pretty much it so you could have you could your vessel could be in a better condition slightly than the worst condition but still you calculate for the worst condition uh, because that pretty much prepares you to handle that all right uh, then uh, moments uh, and when we talk about moments we are talking about healing moments here due to launching of survival craft uh, here uh, the assumptions that are made are that all live boats and rescue boats on the side to which the ship has healed after damage shall be assumed to be sewn out fully loaded and ready for loading so again here also you assume the worst conditions where you assume that all the lifeboats and all the rescue boats or life rafts are fully loaded and being launched from one side it may not be the case but you assume that because then that helps you to prepare for the worst condition like i told you before 
the maximum healing moment during launching is to be used for live boards which are launched from the stored position that is totally enclosed live boards then all david launched live boards are to be assumed swung out fully loaded and ready for lowering on the side to which the ship has healed after damage so looking you can see that we are assuming that uh, the side to which the vessel has already healed it is already healing to that side we are launching the live boards from that side so the heal will only likely to increase but uh, for practical purposes that is the way to go about because uh, the vessel is healed to that side so if, for example the vessel is healed to the starboard side lowering of live boards is easier from there because uh, the distance between the water and the live board then is reduced and easier to manage the launching of the live board from the lower side but again this will lead to further healing of the vessel and that is why i said you make all the calculations for the worst condition and uh, so that uh, at no moment the ship will capsize and you are prepared for that uh, persons not in life saving appliances which are swung out shall not provide any healing or writing moment uh, then uh, life saving appliances on the opposite side to which the ship has healed shall be assumed to be in stored position all right so if the he vessel is healing to starboard and you are launching all the live boards from the starboard you are assuming that all the live boards are being launched from the starboard side then you shall of course assume that the, all the live boards and life rafts and rescue boards on the port side are in stored position they are not being launched finally the moments or healing moments created due to wind pressure the assumptions that we make is that the wind pressure is at least of 120 newton per meter square of area acting on the vessel area so when we say newton per meter square 120 newton is the force and meter square is the meter square of area of the vessel on which the wind can act so that is the area of the vessel above the water line uh, the area applicable shall be the projected lateral area of the ship above the water line in the intact condition and the moment arm shall be the vertical distance between the center of the lateral area to the point at half the mean draft so these are some of the assumptions that are made in calculating for damage stability uh, in passenger ships or in tax stability on passenger ships and uh, the main factors here as you can see are the crowding of passengers the wind force and the launching and lowering of the survival crafts so i just made this video uh, for people who are sailing on passenger ships or if you are going for orals and you may be asked some of these questions uh, you don't need to know more than this from an exam point of view in my opinion all right let me know what you thought about this video and i'll see you soon with my next video guys all the best bye